The new house pod is a house which is manufactured in a factory, under factory conditions and under factory tolerances. Therefore, we hope to uh, avoid the waste normally associated with conventional building. The pods arrive to the site to a preformed foundation. Um, there are three simple connections to be made, water, electricity and, and fowl. One box goes on top of another box and it looks like uh, a couple of porter cabins, I suppose, at that point. There are no uh, workers, site workers, construction workers getting in until the external walls and roof are, are complete. And then at that point, like picking up a new car from the showroom, it's brand new. External treatment, which you see behind me here, uh, is very in keeping with the local area as it is at the moment in, in Antrim and Northern Ireland. Uh, internally, however, uh, the houses are functioned very differently to a conventionally built house. So, this is the living room of the, of the pod. Each of the rooms in the pod has been designed in such a way that uh, we achieve maximum efficiency in terms of space. Uh, the code for sustainable homes, uh, this being code level 4 home, requires that certain minimum space standards are achieved in terms of wheelchair access uh, through doors, turning circles in uh, such as the, the hallway, getting through into the kitchen. There is future provision for a vertical lift that falls under the requirement for lifetime homes. Should the occupant of the house uh, be bedridden at any stage, there has to be an ability for the, to be a, a bed on the ground floor with access into the bathroom above. The living room affords plenty of accommodation for the average family. Plenty of room for settee, a couple of chairs, television. The house comes uh, pre-wired with all AV distribution requirements. Telephone sockets, Sky TV if required. It's approximately three meters wide. A little bit taller than the average height of a, of a room. And um, I, I think you'd agree it, it feels just like any other normal built house. The structure of the house is what's known as a structural insulated panel. The internal walls, the party walls and the external walls are all made from this material. It gives a, a U-value, which is the thermal uh, performance of, of, of the house, of 0.18, thus ensuring that what we have here is a very insulated, very energy efficient home, not requiring much energy uh, input into it to keep it nice and warm. It also has uh, the secondary effect of reducing sound between party walls uh, by uh, uh, 58 decibels. The house pod has three bedrooms, one master and uh, two smaller. To the front, uh, ample bathroom, hot press and storage with uh, the hot press, hot water tank, obviously very highly insulated. And in this bedroom we have further storage or what could be used as a walk-in wardrobe, I suppose. Okay, here we are in the kitchen now. Uh, when the pot arrives, there are three services to connect. Water, electricity and waste. Uh, within about three hours of this arriving at site, the commissioning is finished and you can move in. The kitchen, as you can see, is fully fitted. In transport, the cupboards are taped together to stop them banging about. The splashbacks are tiled. It is ready to receive uh, a cooker and oven and uh, a dishwasher if required. The surfaces are all laminated. In here we have recycling bins. It's ready to go. It has been calculated, not by us, but by, uh, by the scientists who have been monitoring our exercises, that it will take roughly £120 a year to run these homes. And more importantly, no oil, no gas. The new house pod system uh, can also be used for the development of apartments. Uh, we can build the pod up to uh, five storeys and uh, we have a development in Glasgow uh, starting shortly where there are 76 two and three bedroom apartments using our system.